All right, now joined by the Jets' second first-round selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, Elijah Vera Tucker. Were you surprised when you heard the Jets had moved up from 23 to 14? Yeah, well, I mean, I heard they, you know, um, moved up, and then I just got the call, and then, you know, I kind of put the pieces together, and then, you know, they told me they wanted me. Um, they moved up for a reason, so, you know, I was really excited with my family, and now it's just time to get to work. All right, so where are you right now? Paint the picture uh, uh, as far as Thursday night for you and then what that was like when you got the call from the green and white. Yeah, so I'm just, you know, at an Airbnb right now with my family. Um, you know, so much of my family's here, uh, you know, which is a blessing. And then, you know, I was on the call. And then after I hung up, you know, it was just uh, real cheerful and everything like that. So it was just a real blessing. I got to imagine it was a surreal moment. Uh, what does it mean uh, to you being picked by Joe Douglas, a guy who says, we're going to build this thing yeah. in the trenches. We are going to be a very good yeah. offensive line. And Douglas, the GM here, Elijah, he played mm -hmm. offensive line himself. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I know that. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's a great feeling, you know, that he has so much trust in me and you know, he knows a guy that I'm going to come in and work, you know, my butt off every single day. Um, but he's right. You know, the game does start in the trenches. Um, See, so, you know, that's why they came to get me. You know, I'm a guy who really likes to compete in there and gets the job done. How proud are you of your versatility? Because you shined as a guard, and then they said, hey, will you play left tackle for us at USC? Mm -hmm. And then you go outside and are one of the better ta tackles in all of college football. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean um, – you know, coming in, you know, wherever they need me to play, whether it's guard, tackle, I'm going to come in and compete my butt off. You know, that's just what I do. That's what I did last year, you know, playing that tackle with, you know, only two and a half weeks of fall camp um, and then do what I did. So, you know, for me, it's wherever they need me. Um, you know, I'm just, like I said, with my butt off and succeed. Where are you most comfortable? Um, Honestly, it, it's hard. That's a hard question for me to answer just because I just finished playing, you know, left tackle last season. You know, obviously, you get a whole lot of reps out there when you play position during the season. Then, um, you know, I've been working a whole lot of guard too during the offseason. So, you know, I'd say it's definitely 50 50. So, what's the difference for you playing on the outside and then on the inside? Yeah. And how were you able to make it look yeah. so easy? Yeah. No, yeah. Well, I mean, at guard, you know, guys are a whole lot bigger and, um, you know, stronger. And, you know, it's the point of contact comes, you know, a lot faster than outside, you know, you got to be a whole lot more patient in that tackle. Um, but, you know, I think I was able to succeed, you know, with short notice, um, you know, just because my athletic ability, you know, I have quick feet, I have good hands, and, you know, helped me a lot. And, you know, I'm pretty sure if I had more time to prepare, you know, I would have been better. Um, but, you know, like I said, whatever team needs me, uh, you know, I'm coming and ball out. What do you know about Makai Becton? That was Joe Douglas's first draft pick yeah. as GM of the Jets. Yeah. Yeah, I know he's a big body. I know he's a dog, too. You know, he, he kind of plays like I do, you know, likes to finish blocks, you know, plays with a chip on his shoulder, you know, very smart player as well, too. So, you know, I'm you know, ready to come in with that line. Did you have a sense during the pre-draft process that the Jets had a lot of interest in you and this eventually could be mm -hmm. your destination? Yeah, well, I mean, um, yeah, you know, I talked to the Jets a lot. You know, I, I got a good vibe from them. Um, you know, I enjoyed talking to them as well, you know. Um, and, you know, it was just interesting. You never know how a draft night goes. And then, you know, all of a sudden they, they trade up to get me. Um, and it was just a great feeling. They have a lot of trust in me um, to come in there, you know, succeed right away. So, um, you know, it was a crazy night, and I'm just enjoying it now. So what do you think about the young quarterback who's going to be your teammate? That, of course, yeah. is uh, former BYU signal caller Zach Wilson, who was taken mm -hmm. number two overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, you know, you see a whole lot about him, you know, just from over the media. Um, you know, he makes crazy throws, you know, great athleticism, able to, move, you know, move around the pocket pretty well, which is always nice. Um, so, you know, I'm just, you know, excited to come um, come in with him. Elijah, lastly, give me a scouting report for maybe Jets fans who didn't watch too much of the Pac-12 last year. I need a self-scout. Yeah, well, definitely, you know, I'm going to come in. You know, I'm a real physical player. That's the first thing you got to be when you play O-line. You got to be real physical. You got to be dirty in them trenches. So, you know, I'm a real physical player. I finish players in the dirt. That's just what I do. I'm a high IQ, too. And also, you know, I have good hands, quick feet. So, over it all, I mean, you know, just put it all together. You just, you know, getting a competitor out of me.
that kind of mentality is going to be embraced here on the East Coast as you make the move from the West Coast. Elijah Vera Tucker, congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you.